Are you looking to get e-signature documents for your business and you want to make that transition from physical documents to digital documents? Well, look no further. Job Form Sign has got you covered. Plus, there's a ton of templates that we have available to get you started right away. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George and today I'm going to show you how to get started with your e-signature documents for your business. Now, this is our main dashboard for JotForm. To get started with JotForm Sign, head on over to your dashboard and we're going to click on this top left menu and we're going to go into My Sign Documents. In this section, it's going to open up the main dashboard for the JotForm Sign section. Now, first of all, we're going to be able to view all the documents that we have available here and we can go ahead and look at all the options available here. Now, to get started, we're going to head on over to Create Sign Document. In this section, we have two options. We can upload our own documents and get them started right away, or we can use a template. First, let me show you templates. If we go to templates, we're gonna be able to view a whole library of templates available. We can go ahead and view them by type and we can see all the categories here, or we can view it by industries. We can go ahead and click on business and we can view all the business PDF documents available here. For example, payment agreement templates, partnership agreements, letter of, or letter of authorization, consultation agreement, bid proposal, etc. If we want to preview one of these, we can just go ahead and click on preview. We can see how it flows, how it looks, and if this is something that works for our own business. If we like it, we can go ahead and use the template. We can also go ahead and test it if we like right from the preview section. Now, let's go ahead and close this. If you don't like this, we can go ahead and preview another template if we like. And again, we can go ahead and preview it and test it. Now. Let's go ahead and close this. We can go back and we can upload our own documents. So if we have our own business documents available that we use daily, we can go ahead and scan them and upload them here or use the PDF documents that we have available on our computer. So in this case, I am going to upload a document for this test. And this is a consent form template. I'm going to upload it. I'm going to create signable document and it's going to upload it for us. And it's going to open up the builder for us right here. Now, one of the cool features that we have on JotForm Sign is that we can auto add the fields here. We can go ahead and click on detect fields. And this is going to automatically read the template that we uploaded and it's going to add the fields for us. Now, this will add most of the field for us, so it saves us a lot of time. And the cool part about it is that it'll add the field right where it goes and it'll add a title to it so we know what it's for. For example, consenti, we can see we have consenti here. If we need to edit one of these fields, we can click on the gear icon and it will open up the options for this particular field. So we can add and designate the signer to this. And in this case, if it's going to be signer one, the person that you're going to sign this, send this to, we can select signer one. Or if this is something that we need to fill out, we can go ahead and click me and it'll add orange to it because this is now assigned to us. But I'll keep it as signer one. We can go ahead and add new roles to this. So if there's going to be three, four or five signers, we can add the roles to this here. We can change the fields here, the name to it, the field label. We can make it required so they can't skip it. And we can add a sub label to this. We also have options for this. For example, required specific format. Do we need to require this? So it's a, if it's going to be alphabetical, numeric, currency, etc., we can select the field here character limit and input mask. There's also the advanced option for default value or read only. So they won't type anything, they can only read it. We're going to view that some of these fields didn't add automatically. For example, here we have three squares and there's only two of them added. If I click on this option, click on the gear icon, I'm gonna go into options and I'm gonna add a new option. So in this, is, this case, it's gonna be called other. So I've just added it here and now we have another option. And on the left, we can add more fields. So in this case, we have a field right here that hasn't been added. So we're gonna add a short text field. Let's go ahead and add it there. Let's go ahead and resize it. Let's stretch it. And there we go. Let's set this text to other so we know what it's for. And on the bottom, we have to add the signature. So on the top, we have again fields on the left and we can go ahead and add a signer field here. Again, let's go ahead and resize it and we have it added, okay? So now this is complete. Now be aware that there's only one person who's going to fill this out. But what happens if we have more signers or more people who needs to add this? Let's go ahead and add another signature here on the bottom. 
and this would be for my signature. So let's assign it to me. So in this case, I can go ahead and click on the drop down menu here, select me and it turned into orange, or I can do it from the options on the top here, on the left, on the right. We could sign her one and the options. Now, once you're done, you've added all the elements that you needed from the left, we can go ahead and preview this document. And now this opened up the preview section. In this case, we can go ahead and preview it, test it, click on it and move around. And we're able to view all the signers from signer one and signer two. Now, one of the cool features about this is that we can preview as the signer. So if I click on me, for example, we're going to be able to preview the fields that I need to fill out. So I can make sure that I've designated the, the right fields to the right person. So I can see here it is signer one. And if I preview signer one, we can go ahead and preview it here. There we go. Now, if you're sure that everything is working fine, we can go ahead and move out of preview document and head on over to settings. In the settings, we're able to set the document title. So in this case, I'll remove this because it grabbed it from the document file name and we'll change it to consent form. Email settings. So if you want to change the email subject and the email message, we can do so by adding our own message right here. There's also integrations available to integrate with Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, Box, and Zapier. If we need an integration, we can go ahead and request it here and wait for it to be added. Next section, we're gonna go into send. In the send section, we have several settings available. First off, let's add the name for the person who's gonna fill this out. And we're gonna say John Doe and my name. Okay, and the email address for John Doe. I'll just add that testing email. And there's several options available. We can go ahead and add a password to this. So for example, I can say one, two, three, four, and I can also add a message to this. So for example, I would say, for example, the password is your postal code. And that, that, that could just be an example of how you would want to use this, okay? Or add a different message to this. And again, we can also password protect our own message that we're going to receive. In this case, I won't do so, I'll just remove it. There's also the signing order option. This is fantastic if you don't want to receive the email unless the first signer filled it out. And we don't waste time if signer one didn't fill it out. Now, if you have three or five signers, well, imagine the time saved. If all of these four signers didn't fill it out, well, you don't receive it and it just saves time. And you can designate these, you can move them from bottom to top, depending on how you want to assign these. And next we have the options here. For example, we can set the expiration date here. For example, if you don't want someone to sign it after a year or two years, well, we set an expiration date. For example, I could say, you know what, after four days, well, this contract has been expired. You won't continue to fill it out. The automated reminder email, for example, if you want to remind someone to sign in, well, you can do it every day, every two days, etc., and just remind them until they get it done signer delegation and CC recipients. Now, if all that is set up correctly and if you're good to go, we can go ahead and send to sign. So once it's sent to sign, the first recipient should receive the document first. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, here's our first email and we received it here. Remember the message that we added, the password is your postal code. So let's go ahead and review and sign the document. And first of all, it's going to ask us for the password. We set it to one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and validate. And it's going to open up the document for us. And now we're able to fill it out. So for example, this was made on 20. Let's just go ahead and fill it out. 2022. Go next by between 23 and just go ahead and fill these out. Consenti, et cetera. And we're going to skip this so we don't make this demo video longer. OK, go ahead and check this mark out Go ahead and mark it. Go next. 2022, etc. And we have the signature. So let's go ahead and sign it. And we have two options. We can go ahead and do it as type or draw. If it's typed, it's going to grab it from the variable that we added already, or we can type our own right here. So for example, it's John Doe 2, an example, right? And if we want to do a draw, we can go ahead and draw our signature here. Click next. And it's been added. Print name John Doe. Next, and we're gonna skip all of this. Now, if we're done filling it out, we can go ahead and decline this. So if we don't like the contract, if for any given reason, we can go ahead and set Y and decline it. And us as the sender, we're gonna receive an email and we're gonna be able to view it on our dashboard and see why they declined it. 
but if it's fine, we can go ahead and sign and complete, accept and send, and these are e-sign and UETA compliant documents. So let's go ahead and wait for this to finish. There we go, it's been successfully signed. Let's go ahead and view our second email. Once this signer finishes, we receive the second email. This is our second email now, and we're gonna review and sign. And one of the good things that we're gonna view here is that we're gonna be able to preview the information that the previous um, signee filled out. So we're able to view all of this. We're able to view, for example, the signature also, the print name, etc. And now we have the section that we need to sign. So here it is. And I'm gonna use the typed one. I'm gonna sign and complete, accept and send. There we go, it's just been successfully signed. Let's go into our JotForm sign dashboard. Okay, so we're back at JotForm. We're gonna go into our track section, and this is where we're going to view all our documents. So our business documents are gonna be able to be previewable here with all the filled out information, and we have an audit trail here. So there's a document ID, document pages, the status, the time zone, the document history for this particular document, and the audit trail information and process has been completed. On the right, we view the document information. We have the signers and details available here. Now there's more tabs on the top, which is waiting for my signature. So if there's, if I didn't sign this, I would view it here. If there's waiting for others, so if we, ha if we had more signers here or the first person didn't sign it, we're able to view it here also. And complete it, well, we'll view the document here when it's completed. Canceled, if it's been canceled manually and declined, if the sign is declined it, we're able to view it here with the message that they added. Now let's go back into our job form inbox. And in the job form sign inbox, we're gonna be able to view this. This is a consent form that we've just created. We can edit invite to sign, sign inbox, which is what we saw right now. And there's more options to rename, clone, move to team, and move to trash. Now clone is a really great feature if you plan to use this document several times. You just go ahead and clone it and use it again. And that is how you're going to make your transition from physical documents to digital ones in your business using JotForm Sign. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on our next tutorials.